I chose the, the, the online mode because that was the only way I was going to be able to cope with my work and family commitments. And so far, um, I'm quite happy about my choice because even though it's online, we have uh, tutorials every week or every second week where we get the chance to discuss um, all our readings with the tutors and all other students. Um, I teach overseas and one of the things I've really enjoyed about this course is the fact that I'm geographically distant. I actually feel very close to my cohort and to my tutors. We have the opportunity to talk to each other, um, be that synchronously or asynchronously, um, on a daily basis. And we have weekly tutorials where we get to have that kind of face-to-face -face contact. This course was perfect for me. I have a full-time job and I'm a full-time mum. So doing this distance course was an excellent solution. And guess what? The wonders of modern technology meant that the tutors and other students have never felt very far away and have always been there. If anything, everyone has been more accessible and I feel I've met some great people, even though I've not actually met anyone in real life. The amount of support given by the tutors and um, the weekly online meetings have translated personally um, into a wonderful experience. I don't feel like I'm doing it at a distance. I don't feel alone. And um, I, I'm a holder of um, another MA, so this is my second MA, and while my other MA was also very, very good, um, I can see that uh, with the University of Nottingham, um, I haven't felt as lonely as a student, um, and this has had a very positive impact on my um, motivation and um, my desire to do things because I feel somehow responsible and also um, I also feel that I owe it to my my peers um, on the course. So that factor of presence um, on a distance course I think is, is very very important. I think that's one of the things that has made a, a, a big difference in my experience of the um, of this master's degree. The tutors are extremely responsive and uh, you, you never feel left alone or even though you're a distance learning student you don't feel very distant um, and I think that's, that's a, a great achievement as well. We have great professors and tutors, they're knowledgeable, they're supportive, approachable, they're extremely passionate about the field and that is infectious for us. Tutors are are down to earth. They're approachable, um, very prepared, experienced, and above all, I feel that I'm being pushed, and that I'm actually being encouraged to do things that I can use realistically. So incorporating that theory and all the things that we're looking at and experimenting with um, in a very, very positive way, in a very practical way at the same time. Um, tutors are quite supportive. I, I, I must say that. Um, I sometimes feel closer to them to, than I felt closer to my tutors at university when I was doing face-to-face -face instruction in the past. With my tutors as guides, I've begun to explore published academic research relevant to my personal interests of exploiting audio and video in the language classroom. Many of the more recent publications focusing on language learning theory have given actual exercises and examples that I've put to immediate use in my classroom. But it hasn't just been intensive reading. There's been a lot of intensive processing of information too, in the form of drafting, sharing and recycling ideas with my classmates and tutors through writing. The other thing I'm, I'm really liking about the course is it's gives you a good grounding in the theory of the use of digital technologies for language teaching, but it's um, constantly backed up with activities that draw on us to, to make that theory concrete and to apply it in a practical situation. Um, the balance of modules and activities that we've done even in the first year has been very varied, from group work to individual contributions to forum discussions to online discussions to Skype calls, um, creating charts, diagrams. Um, there's a huge collaborative element to the course which I've, I've really profited from because I feel um, the peer-to-peer -peer learning has also 
been a big part of it with, under the guidance of our tutors. There's a balance of kind of theoretical and, and creative activities in the in the course and um, I think there's enough selection between the modules to find something that really appeals to everybody. A factor that I would like to share with you is um, the um, creative factor on the course design and how we are encouraged to be creative and we are allowed to, in a, an academic way, uh, to um, be creative at the same time. So I, I found that um, to be really, really liberating and actually um, has allowed me to discover areas and, and, and also explore other academic areas in a very interesting way. We are studying second language acquisition research that is extremely current uh, alongside digital technologies that really bring that research to life. I've been in the industry for over 15 years in various roles, and this program is really capturing what is happening now in the industry. After 20 years of teaching, you would have thought that there's not much left to learn, but there's always something to learn, and I definitely learned doing this MA in Digital Technology for Language Teaching at Nottingham University. My eyes have been open to new ways to tackle basic, important tenets that are the backbone of good classroom teaching. Whether it be new methods to assess learning or different ways to encourage anxious students to speak a foreign language, I'm now much more aware of just what can be done. I've learned about how to adopt and adapt technology to enhance the language learning journey of my students. Of particular interest to me has been learning not only how digital tools may stimulate lower knowledge level thinking, but also how their use may promote the highest of cognitive thinking in my classroom. It's really helped me to understand better my own practice and to improve upon it and to reflect upon it. Um, I feel much better informed about uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing in my classroom and uh, I'm always looking for ways that are kind of underpinned by this new knowledge I have to improve. I would definitely encourage anyone interested in um, developing their skills in, in teaching, in language teaching, uh, to try out the MA in Digital Technologies for Language Teaching with the University of Nottingham. I really don't have um, enough good things to say about the program. I highly recommend it and perhaps I will see you in the next cohort.